Hey golfers, Drew Mahold here uh, with Second Swing Golf, joined by Thomas Campbell, one of uh, our Second Swing Master Club Fitters. Um, we're outside today testing out the new Ping Glide 3.0 wedges. Uh, specifically, we're going to talk about the different sole options uh, that the Glide 3.0 comes in. They've got a couple classics and they've also added the brand new one. You know, Thomas, first of all, we'll touch on the TS, um, their sort of their low bounce option. Um, what do you think about that so far? You've hit us a couple shots. Yep, so the TS is a low bounce option wedge. Mm -hmm. It's designed for those players that don't have a very steep attack angle. So mm -hmm. very, very shallow, more of a picker, play on firmer conditions, yep. like to maybe open and close that club face a little bit. Really for that really unique shot off that firm turf yeah. to allow you to give you as much right. versatility as you possibly can get. You wanna make sure you yep. get that leading edge underneath the ball. Correct, um, yeah. Whereas sometimes yep. the high bounce option, that might be a problem for some swingers on those hard lies, right? Correct, yep. So essentially not much bounce on it, allows you to be able to work the ball, but it's not going to be as forgiving essentially. And then moving towards the standard sole SS grind, um, what type of shots, what type of advantages are players using that wedge going to see? Yeah, so the standard sole option is probably the most versatile option of all the yeah. wedges. Essentially, it's, yeah, you'll be able to hit both shots, you'll be able to hit. It's more for the person that has kind of like a moderate yeah. attack angle, not too steep, yeah. not too shallow but it gives you versatility. Yeah. A lot of golfers play different golf courses all the time. Sure. So you don't want to have to play off a very, very soft condition course with not yeah. much bounce. Right. But so it gives you kind of a mid-range bounce yeah. option. So standard sole is probably the most common wedge that you'll find in, in player's bag to allow you to give you that versatility. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then moving forward to the WS grind, wide sole, sort of their high bounce option for the Glide 3.0. Um, what can you tell us about that one? Yep, so wide sole, a lot of bounce on it, a mm -hmm. um, little more forgiving. A little easy to kind of glide through that ground, to better maybe turf interaction for those people that have maybe a little bit more of an attack angle coming down yeah. it, maybe a little more of a, a digger, yep. take a little bit more of a divot. Um, but forgiving, um, we were hitting shots around the green just out of that thick rough, and yeah. we noticed how that oh, it yeah. kind of bounced straight through that through that yeah. through that grass really really easily, mm -hmm. and we were dropping it in some pretty nasty lies. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, Wide sole, you know, maybe designed for a player that has a little bit more of a steeper attack angle, but mm -hmm. I wouldn't shy away from it. It definitely gives you more forgiveness. Yeah, yeah. I mean, especially in those, like you were saying, those lies we kind of dropped those, those the golf balls in for those shots were pretty nasty. And this thing with that wide sole just kind of ripped right through it. And then lastly, Ping added the I2 sole grind, yep. um, which is kind of, they're bringing back an old shape. I know you loved it out of the bunker. I do. I play a wedge very similar to this that has that uh, high toe look on mm -hmm. it. Um, I love playing out of the sand. It is like cheating out of the sand. It's, <laughs> it's so easy. Um, one thing I did notice with this with this wedge, it's maybe not as large as some of the other maybe competitors with, yeah. with, with the size of the club head, but it's very easy on the eye. So yeah. a lot of people don't like to have that big, big bulky wedge in, in their hand. Um, so it's, it's pretty clean looking. Obviously it's got that nice big high toe yeah. on there. Um, the other interesting thing is you'll notice this bottom, the bottom groove. Yeah. So it's kind of, it's down there. It's it's, it's kind of positioned yeah. way way down there for someone that may hit that thin shot to catch that extra groove and yeah. just give a little bit more forgiveness yeah, and versatility. For sure. But yeah, it great through the sand. It's nostalgic as well for for Ping to bring that shape oh, yeah. back and um, the way it works with the you know with the Glide 3.0 technology, able to fit in the elastomer, fit in the cavity in the back. Um, it, clearly it performs well and, and the shape, you know, it might be a, an issue for some to kind of get over the shape. Um, it's a little bit different than your traditional wedge shape, but um, obviously the performance, as Tom and Thomas mentioned, uh, it, it delivers. So um, again, for those interested in the Ping Glide 3.0 wedges, um, you have four different sole grind options to choose from. And for any swing out there, you're going to find at least one of these that will fit you.